after studying this module you shall be able to understand the basic foundations of the internet the terms used commonly on the internet understand the significance of online communication using internet the significance of social media tools on internet the importance to forensic aspect in the cyber world introduction to the internet the internet is the network of connected devices such as computers present all around the world connected to each other via internet this connectivity provides smooth flow of information between the connected device beyond boundaries of nations and continents in a way internet can be understood as a hyper network that connects several networks globally therefore the internet is also known as interconnection of computer networks with the help of the internet one can connect to others and share content and information of various types across the continents internet is the new method of communication that started in the 1970s in the united states of america it has revolutionized the world by sharing information and communication it has affected every facet of human life including business health care education interpersonal communication social networking etc origin of the internet the internet first started as a network of united states military in the year 1969 to exchange information in the case of nuclear emergency it was named as arpa net which stands for advanced research project agency network arpa is usually us defense research agency darpa it is evident from the graph that after the official public release of the inter in the 1990 the internet usage is on an exponential increase curve world wide web world wide web is a system of interlinked hypertext through which data such as document embedded images and videos etc can be accessed via the internet world wide web was invented in 1989 at the european research organization called cern world wide web was invented by tim berners lee a scientist at cern cern stands for european organization for nuclear research tim berners lee developed three technologies that formed the basis of world wide web these are url in form resource locator which point to the specific location for a content on internet html stands for hypertext markup language with which the web pages are composed of and finally the http hypertext transfer protocol which is a prefix to every web page on the internet web browsers the content on the world wide web can be accessed by using a specialized software known as web browser it is a standard software for retrieving and surfing the information there are several web browsers available on the internet some of the most common types are internet explorer chrome safari and firefox the process of retrieving or fetching information through a web browser is to put the inform resource locator that is url in the address bar the content of that web page is then displayed in the content area
modern day web browsers have the capability to open more than one web page in a single window. This is done by opening multiple tabs and entering the desired URL in the address bar. Internet addresses. Internet address normally referred to as URL is essentially required to locate specific information available on it. This is analogous to a telephone directory where a specific number indicates a specific telephone connection to a person. So, in order to reach a specific web page on the internet, you need to type its precise address. URL is a short form of Uniform Resource Locator. The structure of internet address consists of a protocol prefix like HTTP, a short form of World Wide Web www the subdomain name and finally a domain name http stands for hypertext transfer protocol the characteristic features of a url are a a url never has any spaces in it b a url for the most part is all in lowercase. C. A URL is not the same as an email address. D. A URL always starts with a protocol prefix like HTTP. E. A URL uses forward slashes and dots to separate its part. Content on the internet. The content available on the internet is broadly classified into three main categories, which is text, visual, and audio. For example, YouTube.com is a popular website for videos, while Flickr.com is a massive repository for images. Content Search the primary purpose of internet-based websites is to provide information to the public. The amount of information available on the internet is enormous, diverse, and constantly updated. So, in order to access latest information, the user has to use some search engine where a consolidated list of websites and web pages containing such information is displayed. A search engine is a collection of database of web pages and their content. This database updates constantly and provides latest information. There are several search engines available today. For example, Google.com is the biggest search engine in the world that can search the World Wide Web for all types of content. With the use of search engines, one can find out content information about text, images, and videos. In addition to general search engines like Google, there are specialized search engines that only retrieve specific information types. For example, SciFinder Scholar gives the information about various research publications available on a specific topics in chemistry and related sciences. SciFinder, therefore, is only restricted to scientific research and not for videos and general searches. Other examples of research publication search engines include Google Scholar, ScienceDirect, etc. Social media. The term social media refers to the interaction between individuals using internet technology for creating, sharing, and distributing contents and ideas.
It is the sharing and mutual collaboration that provides for the social aspect on the internet. There are several platforms specifically designed for such social interactions. For example, Twitter.com is a website for sharing short length messages of 140 characters. Through Twitter, one can update their present status to their group members. There are huge benefits for social media. This biggest benefit being the case of interacting with a large number of colleagues, friends and other individuals beyond the boundaries of countries and continents. Social media enables the content to be searchable and therefore best for sharing and collaborating. There are several platforms for knowledge sharing on social media. Knowledge sharing is beneficial for students, teachers and learners of any field. Platforms such as Google Groups, Facebook Pages, Google Plus, etc. help individuals build communities and share knowledge content with others. Another important aspect of social media is to create an individual identity that can be known to several people beyond boundaries. People create their profiles that can be viewed by their potential employers and friend networks, etc. One more important aspect of social media is the real-time update that can be obtained about real situations. One of the most famous examples is the case of an IT consultant named Soheb Athar in Pakistan's Abbottabad where Osama bin Laden was killed by US forces. Athar first posted about events surrounding the raid hours before the information made public, writing, Helicopter hovering above Abotabad at 1 a.m. is a rare event. He didn't realize that he'd been tweeting about a top-secret attempt to kill an internationally wanted terrorist until several hours later. Forensic Science and the Internet As defined by Dunn, Long, and Gazi, the internet crime is any criminal activity that either occurs on or makes use of the internet. There is a large variety of internet crimes such as cyber stalking, spamming, spoofing, etc. There are several forms of internet crimes. Some of the examples of such criminal activities include stalking, theft of copyrighted information, hacking, virus distribution, trafficking in child pornography, harassment, financial fraud, spying. Social media is the fastest growing internet phenomenon in the present decade. It is set to grow even faster with the availability of more and more connected devices such as phones, watches, etc. Since a lot of activity of individuals on social media involves sensitive and personal information, it is not uncommon to find identity-related crime using social media platforms. For example, several cases of fake identity accounts have been reported around the globe, using someone else's picture to create his or her fake account on social media and thereby posting obscene materials, defaming and spreading hatred, threats, etc. are a growing concern for governments around the world. Social network websites contain sensitive and personal data of millions of people around the world. This data is subjected to various attacks from criminals and criminal organizations worldwide.
the challenges to the security and privacy of social network users and their data is an important issue for law enforcement agencies. Social media websites can be used for a variety of criminal activities. Some of them include identity theft, defamation, threats, incitement to hatred, insult to religious feelings, obscene material sharing, etc. The information most commonly available on social networking sites include profile information, pictures, date of birth, location details, friends and family members information, while this information is provided by the user to share with his or her associations, it is most likely to be exploited for criminal purposes. In the cases of cyber crimes, digital forensics comes into play. The information updates about an activity, if available, on social networking sites may be used in criminal investigations. In one such case, a kidnapper updated his status on his Facebook account with a picture of his with her hostage. This was later used in court proceedings. Some useful content on internet. Some of the useful content on internet includes the following categories email services, government websites, news websites, travel websites, video talk, etc. The summary. The internet is a network of connected devices such as computers present all around the world connected to each other via internet. The internet first started as a network of United States military in the year 1969 to exchange information in the case of nuclear emergency. It was named as ARPANET which stands for Advanced Research Project Agency Network. ARPA is actually US Defense Research Agency DARPA. World Wide Web was invented in 1989 at the European Research Organization called CERN. C -E -R -N. World Wide Web was invented by Tim Berners-Lee, a scientist at CERN. CERN stands for European Organization for Nuclear Research. Internet address, normally referred to as URL, is essentially required to locate specific information available on it. The content available on the internet is broadly classified into three main categories, text, visual and audio. The amount of information available on the internet is enormous, diverse and constantly updated. Social media is to create an individual identity that can be known to several people beyond boundaries. People create their profiles that can be viewed by their potential employers, friends and networks. Social network websites contain sensitive and personal data of millions of people around the world. This data is subjected to various attacks from criminals and criminal organizations worldwide. Some of the useful content on internet includes the following categories, email services, government websites, news websites, travel websites, video talks, etc.